In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add layers in AutoCAD. And the benefits to this is actually more on the back end. So you're distinguishing lines so you can understand the drawing. You can also have others understand the drawing. But in the future, you might be able to turn things on or off to communicate ideas. For example, if you wanted to turn off all of the landscaping, you could turn that off and just leave hardscaping to show the layout of patios. So when you first open up AutoCAD, you're only given one layer. Many beginners make this mistake by drawing everything on the layer zero because you're not setting up the layers within AutoCAD. And you will run into a mistake like this, where the landscape plan looks all of the same. And if you were to open this up and scroll in on certain areas, you weren't sure if this is a railing to the stairs or what that could be. And what this does is it allows you to actually like visually see the landscape differently and you can see that this is actually a grade marker that's underneath an existing grade line that's underneath a stair. And we know that by just clicking on the line and we can see that it's L concrete existing. And we know that this is actually an E storm drain layer. So there's a pipe that's running underneath the stairs out to the road. If you don't have the layers and want a simple solution, go to the link in the description to download our AutoCAD starter pack, which includes all the layers already built in AutoCAD so you can start designing immediately. And we also give you a few landscape symbols and some functional diagramming symbols to use on your landscape plan. So this is a perfect AutoCAD starter pack to get going immediately. But if you wanna add a layer that could be more specific to the type of work you do, to do that, you go to the Layer Properties tab. And when you open up the layer properties tab, you'll see that there's no other layers in there. And to compare that to what we already have, I'll show you what this would look like when you're completed with the library. Here is what this would look like in the future. So to add a layer, you're gonna to go to these four different symbols over here. And if you hover over the symbols, it'll give you a definition of what it will do. So we're going to add a new layer and it comes in as layer one. You can name the layer however you want, but this is important to how you communicate to yourself, but also think of it that you're communicating to other professionals in the field. If they were to open up this drawing, how would you want your lines to represent what's actually being built in the field? So I'm going to start each landscape layer with L and then underscore. And for this tutorial, I'm just going to do concrete driveway. Now over on the right hand side are ways that you can control this line type. For example, the color of the line right now is set to white. A box like this will appear where you can change the different colors of the line. But I would suggest sticking with the index colors. So for this concrete layer, we're going to use red. And just a typical architectural setup firm, uh, they're using red as their thinnest line weight and they're using white as their thickest line weight. So because I don't need to print the driveway on such a thick layer, I'm going to use red and I'm gonna hit okay. But there are different ways that you can increase the line weight within AutoCAD. Right now it is set to default, but we can change this to whatever we want. We could see it could go up to as thick as 2.11 millimeters, but I'm gonna leave this as default. And you can also change the different line type by importing new layers and working with dashes or dots. The biggest thing about layers in AutoCAD is that you can turn off certain aspects of your drawing. So if you wanted to turn off all of the line work that is on L concrete driveway, we could do that by two different ways. We could turn it on and off by the light bulb or we could freeze the layer. And when you have these items drawn in AutoCAD, you can see how these turn on and off. The other one is you can lock this layer. So if you lock the layer, you cannot delete the layer until you re-unlock it. And the last thing is about plotting. So this will show if you're drawing your line work within AutoCAD, and this is turned off, you will be able to still draw in AutoCAD, but when you go to the paper space tab and you want to export a drawing or plot the drawing, these lines will not turn off. Typically you'll see def points is a line within most practices that the plotting is turned off so you can draw within AutoCAD the construction lines or either lines that helping you to kind of bring things together throughout the property but this is a way to turn on and off the plotting lines. If you wanna download the AutoCAD starter pack, find the link in the description, or if you want AutoCAD training for landscape design, go to www.thelandscapelibrary.com for the AutoCAD training for landscape design, or subscribe now.